Hello and welcome to this exciting series on WordPress. So we're going to learn how to create our own theme from scratch in WordPress. So for some of you that don't know what WordPress is, WordPress is a content management system. In layman's terms, it's a complete website, which you just download for free and then you customize to your liking so that uh, you change the outlook in in short so that it looks like your own design even though it's the same website that everybody is downloading and making use of so the way wordpress changes the appearance is using what are called themes and that's what we want to learn how to create so this theme here looks different uh, rolling stone this one looks like a totally different website however they are both running WordPress. It's just the front view that is different, but the back view of WordPress is the same. It uses the same code. So we want to learn how to create a theme. So if you go to wordpress.org, this is the website I'm on now, you can see all the features that WordPress has. They do a good job of explaining why you should use WordPress. Now, so we've covered what is WordPress. Now, why use WordPress? Well, the thing is, if you know anything about coding websites, uh, it's a very slow and tedious process. Now, WordPress comes with a code that's already existing. So it's a CMS, Content Management System, which is just like a website. So not to be mistaken with a framework because a framework is very different a framework is like a skeleton of a website. So you can't do anything to a firm. Uh, if you don't know how to code, you can't turn a framework into a website. However, with WordPress, you don't need to know anything about coding. You can simply buy a theme and add it to your website. And just like that, you have a new website. So this is why one of the reasons you should use WordPress. And the second reason is that a lot of websites actually use WordPress. So it's like, uh, I think like 60, I'm not sure, maybe 60% of the, uh, the internet uses WordPress, something to that effect, but it's a large number though. So which means you're going to always find work for WordPress. If you know how to manipulate WordPress, there'll always be a, a client that you can work with. There'll always be somebody that needs something to be done in WordPress and you'll be there to do it. Not only that, you can create plugins that other people can buy, and also you can create themes that you can sell on the WordPress uh, marketplace. So if you're not convinced uh, with um, the features that it comes with, at least you can learn it for business. That way you improve your portfolio as a programmer. So what you should first know to take this course is PHP, of course, because WordPress runs entirely on PHP. So you must know PHP. That is a requirement. And some knowledge in JavaScript will be beneficial, though not required. But if you know some JavaScript, that will be good. And then let's see how we can install WordPress so that we can start uh, bending it to our will. So to download, just uh, go to wordpress.org, obviously, and then click get WordPress, which will take you to this page where you click download here. Now, currently I have the 5.8.1 version. When you'll be watching this video, I'm sure there'll be a different version, but the uh, base principles are exactly the same. So I'm sure you'll be able to use the same for your project. So once you finish downloading, I already have downloaded that. You must also download ZAMP or you can download either ZAMP, MAMP or LAMP depending on your system. If you're on Linux, uh, you can use LAMP. If you're on Mac, you can use MAMP or you can just get ZAMP which will run on any of those systems. You can download for which system you want to use. Once you download this, install it to your drive C. Just don't change any settings there, just install it 
as the settings come and then we'll be ready to go. This will enable you to have a live server, a server on your computer. That way we can run WordPress. And then, so now you have two files, uh, installed ZAMP and then you have WordPress. So let's take a look at what we can do with WordPress. So I have downloaded mine somewhere here. Okay, so there it is, WordPress 5.8.1. So I'll copy this and then go to drive C and in ZAMP, htdocs. Now this folder will be different depending on the server that you've installed. If you've installed ZAMP, it will be in C ZAMP htdocs. And then just create a new folder and we're going to call this folder, um, I'm not sure, let's call it WordPress, shall we? Very original, yes, WordPress, like that. And then in here, let's paste our zip folder that we brought in, this is about 16 megs. Now extract this, just tell it to extract right here. Uh, don't extract to another folder so that we have WordPress in there as well. We'll be putting all our WordPress projects right here. Okay, so now we have htdocs, WordPress, and then WordPress again, so two of these. So htdocs, WordPress, WordPress, and then this is the folder that has the WordPress installation itself. So in order to make this work, we have to make sure, open the ZAMP control panel, and then start Apache and MySQL by clicking these two buttons here. Once everything has started, we have a live server and we are ready to go. So let's go to our browser, open a new tab, type local host and then WordPress because that's the uh, folder that we created slash WordPress again because that's the folder that's how we structured our system so if you had put all your files directly in wordpress without the second wordpress then you just remove the other one but this is where our folders our files are so that's where we'll press so press enter like this and it should load the wordpress website content management system now surprisingly it's taking quite a while to load okay so there we go now it's asking me because this is the first time i'm doing the installation so it's asking me to select a language and of course for me it's english and let's click on let's go shall we now here it's asking for a database name a username and a password and the host name so since we are on a local host we'll leave it at localhost. And this is the prefix for tables. So any tables that will be created will start with WP underscore. So you can change this to any character that you want. You don't really have to worry about this. You can type anything there really because you won't be needing to type that anywhere else. So we'll leave it at that. But the database name though, uh, we can just leave it at WordPress. I think that's okay. The username for our uh, server is root and then we don't have a password so remove that. Now in case you're using mump you may need to write root on the password there. So there we go. If you're on a Mac that is. So let's click submit and everything should go well or not right. So it's saying can't select database. What this means is that it can't find the database we specified. So let's type localhost again, slash PHP my admin, like so, so that we go to where the databases reside. So this will only be possible if these two are running here. And there we go. So we need to create that database. So I'm going to click on new over here and then just write the database name, which is WordPress. You can really name it anything you want and create. That's all we will need to do over here. And let's go back to our error and say, try again. So 
the only thing is the password should be empty and let's click some now here with username and password you must enter if when installing your mysql you were asked for a username and password that's where you add it here root and an empty password is only viable if you haven't changed uh, those details because these are the default values so submit again and then yes we are good to go run the installation alrighty then so there we go now we need a site title don't worry too much about this because you can change it at any time let's just name it my blog I'm going to add my username there uh, let's add a password here Actually, let's just add a very generic password. Password, very weak. Yes, you shouldn't be adding weak passwords like this if this was online. Uh, confirm use of weak password. Okay, my email, blush. let's see. I'll put that email and then discourage search engines, engines from indexing this site. No, we want search engines to index this website. So don't tick that and then just say install like this okay so now it's running the installation process which would take uh, maybe a minute or so okay yeah we have to count it is taking quite a while now while it's doing this we can spy on it in the local host php my admin because it's creating tables over there so in the database that we just created so where is that database okay so it says success very good success let's click login and use the same details we used so password and we should be in Okay, while well, it's uh, deciding whether to log us in, let's click on the WordPress database and see what has been added. So you see a couple of tables, quite a number of tables have been added. Our interest for now is users and posts and post meta. Yeah, those three for now. Okay, so at least you see all this. It means everything be good. Let's come back to WordPress. So it has taken us to the dashboard here. Okay, very nice. Now, if you hop over to where it says my blog, right click here and say open a new tab so that you view the site. This is how the site looks like. So out of the box, you already have a website where you can add posts. So if I go to posts and say add new, I can now add some posts. So let's see this process of now starting. Uh, I think it was um, version. I'm not sure version five. I think they added this thing called blocks, but uh, which pe a lot of people hate, but I kind of like it. OK, so let's type a new post here. Let's just say a new post mm -hmm. and then down here we can write some text for this new post so it's as easy as this to create a post uh, of course you can add blocks what are called blocks here for example i can add uh, another paragraph a quote some code i can add an image a gallery audio and video and etc etc okay so already wordpress comes with all these uh, nice things like if for example i clicked on image to add an image, I simply click on the media library. And so it already comes with an uploader uh, installed, right? Select, so let's select uh, one of these files here. Maybe this one. Okay, so file has been uploaded and I can select to add it to my post like this. And then I can publish this post now click publish and come back here and refresh and you will see that the post shows up here so this is my new post that's the old one now the beauty of uh, wordpress is that we can easily change the appearance of our theme by selecting a different theme 
so i can go to appearance here and click on themes over here which is what we are interested in at the moment so i'm going to go to i like the 20 we are using this one 2021 i prefer the 2020 uh, so let's activate that bad boy there okay so just like that i've added a new theme to my system and you will see that now it will appear very differently okay so you see it looks like a totally different website altogether so this is the power of uh, wordpress right there easy ease of changing things and also i can click on customize you see here uh, if i click on that we can come to this section where I can edit um, site identity, for example. If I want to change this to my blog 2, and you see right there it changes to 2 immediately. And just another WordPress site, I can add a 2 at the end, you will see it right there. So we will learn how to create all this right here. All these uh, settings for changing the theme that we're going to create. Okay, goody. So let's go back here. Okay, so let me summarize what we're going to learn in this uh, series here. So the first thing I've already mentioned here, we'll learn how to add some content to this uh, side so that we are easily able to manipulate what theme we're going to create. We'll be able to change whatever we want here so that in case you want to sell that theme, you can sell it to somebody and they don't need to know how to code. They can easily change whatever they want. So let's close that. So that's what we'll learn how to do. And then the other thing we'll learn is how to add a uh, posts here to extend the capabilities of posts. And we'll learn how to add widgets. We'll also learn how to add menus and how to specify where those menus should go on our theme, etc., etc. So we're going to learn quite a lot in this one but i will keep it as basic as possible as simple as possible so that every beginner can follow along without uh, problems all right then so now that we have a working theme we are ready to begin to see what actually we can change on this thing to make it look the way we want all right so hopefully i'll see you in the next video